It might seem odd at first glance to compare something like the Grease Pencil for Blender, a tool from a 3D software, to Cartoon Animator, a 2D one. But it turns out that the comparison is completely valid. In today's video, we'll show you exactly the reason why and what each has to offer. For those of you who have never heard of the Grease Pencil before, it's an integrated tool in Blender by default that can be easily enabled, offering the ability to draw and animate normally through 3D environments. The utility of such a tool might be ambiguous at first, but there's more that meets the eye here. On a base level, the Grease Pencil can be broken down to being a vector-based Blender object. It allows for the creation of strokes, which are a bunch of points connected through lines, making them highly editable without risking the loss of quality or properties assigned to them. Blender also offers an advanced drawing mode, equipped with customizable brushes designed to get you that hand-drawn effect in your pieces. And with the seamless integration with 3D spaces and objects, you'll be able to bring a more immersive depth effect and dynamic perspectives easily while saving time and effort. Additionally, animations are also supported whether you want to make detailed frame-by-frame -frame animations or tackle rigging for more controlled movement. Not to mention that, of course, the effects and procedures you might typically use, such as modifiers, are totally applicable to your 2D creations to alter these strokes and enhance their complexity even more. And as you might have guessed, you can get access to all of this for the small price of free, since the Greek Pencil has already been integrated into Blender. Plus, because it's open source, you can benefit from the support and help provided by the large community of developers and artists out there working constantly on improving the software, which is truly appreciated. Stepping away from the realm of 3D, we have one of the staples of 2D animation and rigging, Cartoon Animator a software tailored to those needs in specific. Cartoon Animator's design and workflow are meant to be straightforward and user-friendly, offering a basic customizable layout with all your animation needs at the display. Alongside some free assets you can play with for starters to ensure a smooth entry point for the beginners out there. This philosophy seeps into the actual features offered by the software. From having a robust rigging system for setting up the base or skeleton of the puppets, Two more advanced options like mocaps and auto lip syncing, both to track real time movement and audio respectively in order to apply them to your models, which reduces the need to go and adjust the puppets manually. Adding to all of that, Cartoon Animator supports physics to get more grounded and realistic looking movement. And all of that, of course, is taken into consideration alongside the people who prefer having full control and working on frame by frame animations as well whom they get to play around with different textured brushes, deformation tools, and so much more. Here comes the catch though, because unlike Blender, you gotta pay a one lifetime purchase of $150 to get Cartoon Animator, and top it with another $100 for the mocap and assets bundle. Yet, despite the price barrier, it is still highly regarded in the industry nonetheless, and praised for its efficiency and versatility. In terms of learning curves, using both software will require you to have a basic level of knowledge about 2D art and animations, and acquiring this knowledge will take time and effort in itself if you're starting your journey as an artist. Yet, with some patience and perseverance, this shouldn't be that hard to achieve. But that will only be the beginning. Here's what you'll need to know first about each program. Cartoon Animator stands out for its user-friendly design and straightforwardness with beginners in mind. It caters to a broad range of creative needs, with tools made specifically to automate tasks as much as possible even if you're not familiar with the base concepts themselves. In addition to these core features, Cartoon Animator is just as rich with resources, tutorials, downloadable assets, and more so that users can be assessed throughout their learning journey. Blender, in contrast, can take a good amount of time to get used to. Its interface alone can be quite intimidating to tackle at first sight. And to use it, one must not only have the 2D skill set at hand, but also the 3D one. As in, you'll have to familiarize yourself with Blender's general concepts and features before moving on to the Grease Pencil itself. Though once mastered, the results can only speak for themselves, as the true power of such a tool becomes clear when both the 3D and 2D styles combine to create unique masterpieces. And just like Cartoon Animator, there are hundreds of thousands of materials out there to help you with the software at any moment, including all types of assets and plugins offered by the Kind community to customize your experience while using it. 
Just remember that the ultimate choice comes down to your creative vision and the kind of style you're trying to achieve. Neither software is difficult to master. It's just a matter of patience, perseverance, and your willingness to grow with the tools you choose. And now that we've given each software its fair share of attention, it's time to set the record straight with each and dive into what they actually bring to the table. Cartoon Animator is tailored to 2D animations and rigging. It gives you just what you need to achieve that in the simplest and fastest way possible. But it lacks in the 3D support aspect due to the same reason. And it also comes with a limited, or for a better use of words, a more basic library for visual effects which might urge the user to find add-ons or use other software in addition to get the right looks and feels needed. Blender with the Grease Pencil is a highly flexible tool that allows you to create 2D and 3D animations in the same environment, resulting in seamless integration between the two. It also offers a wide range of effects and a node-based compositing system, allowing you to create complex, unique, and highly detailed animations with ease. But keep in mind that this will require going through a steep learning process first to fully harness their power and that some actions and tasks can be a bit challenging and unintuitive at first, like rigging. You would also have to keep in mind that no matter how much all these features may seem exciting, Blender on its own can be quite resource intensive. And that's a heads up before you try anything crazy which might result in your PC getting burned if it's not the strong type. Giving a final verdict will always be the trickiest part of any comparison video, so let me reiterate here. Choosing the right software will ultimately boil down to personal preferences and the goals you try to achieve. Cartoon Animator can be a great choice for artists driven to create fully 2D animations. It's made with both professionals and beginners in mind, and it's equipped with everything you'll need to start making stunning artworks. If you are more of the season type though and are looking to create unique animations and experiment with new and different mediums, then Blender's Grease Pencil might be best suited for you. It'll allow you to push boundaries and get the best of the 2D and 3D world at once. The best advice? Experiment and explore with the tools you have and see what works and resonates and what does not. Discover the new ways in which you can use them to bend the rules and create something new. Creativity shall know no bounds, only the sky is the limit here when it comes to your artistic freedom. And with that, we have reached the end of the video. What do you think of Cartoon Animator and the Grease Pencil? Did you try working with any of them before? Tell us in the comments down below. And like and subscribe while you're at it, as it encourages us to deliver more content like this. This was it for today, have a nice day, and I'll see you at the next one.